Good morning, everyone. I, uh, I would like to congratulate uh, NAS for uh, uh, delivering uh, this uh, particular uh, output, okay, which is the uh, uh, exhibit, new exhibit uh, that uh, will honor uh, our uh, national scientists. Uh, I understand that uh, uh, 13 out of 41 will be featured in the exhibits uh, that we will uh, open today. So, my uh, message will not be complete if I will not also greet uh, personally our national scientists, starting from Dr. Ramon Barba, uh, Dr. Luli Cruz, Dr. Uh, Dolores Ramirez, Dr. Uh, uh, Ernesto Domingo, Dr. Ricardo Lantican, Dr. Edgardo Gomez, and Dr. Uh, Gabino Trono. Um, I, uh, I uh, know, of course, that uh, we are about to have another national scientist. Uh, hopefully, you have already made the arrangements uh, uh, for that, okay? Uh, for the proper confirmment. Now, uh, we also have our academicians uh, here present, led by our uh, uh, NAS president, uh, Rodora Asansa. And, uh, of course, we also have uh, Dr. Rafael Guerrero, and uh, we have uh, Dr. Jose uh, Cruz. Uh, to my uh, co-workers at the DOST, we have uh, here Assistant Secretary Lea Buendia, and uh, a number of directors, Director Briones of the Industrial Technology Development Institute. Tayo nga, sila yung nag-celebrate po nung lunes ng Ika isang daan at labing walong taon ng ITPI, originally the Bureau of Science established in 1901. We have uh, our her uh, Deputy Director, Dr. Diane uh, Ignacio, over there. And uh, I can see also, uh, we have uh, Director Sumagaysay of uh, our uh, National Research Council of the Philippines. We have Director Celia Ilumba of the Philippine Textile Research Institute. We have Director Matet de Guzman of our Internal Audit Service. And uh, our representatives from the other institutes, di ko na po iisa-isahin. I would like to welcome a new addition to the science community, Chris Chu, who will be an ambassador for science and technology. Welcome, Chris. And uh, with him is Director um, Richard Burgos. Okay, so we are. Uh, uh, ano tawag dito? We are additionally energized with, <laughs> with the presence of younger people. <laughs> well, uh, to our friends from media, uh, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the uh, DOST, I would like to again repeat my congratulations to the National Academy of Science and Technology for the launching of this Philippine Science Heritage Center's new exhibits and also the unveiling of its new logo. Uh, as I already mentioned, 13 out of the 14 individuals conferred with the Order of National Scientists will be featured at the new exhibit of the Philippine Science Heritage Center. So we are honored to witness and to experience the highlight of their careers in virtual and digital technology. High-tech na po ngayon ang uh, papakita ng NAS. Throughout the years, the Philippine Science Heritage Center or the Salin Lahi has been the under the administration or management of the National Academy of Science and Technology and it has served as the repository of the achievements of our Filipino scientific uh, community. So, uh, it is really a great instrument in passing on the knowledge to the youth by honoring our top Filipino scientists. DOST is fully committed uh, to continue to support this project of the National Academy of Science and uh, Technology. There are uh, many challenges around us and the science and technology community is called upon to respond and to present solutions. Uh, let me enumerate some of them, uh, not in any particular order. The discussions on uh, caring for the country's carrying capacity, which was sponsored by uh, NAST okay, in its uh, Mindanao uh, Regional Scientific Meeting, is a uh, very timely response indeed uh, to the uh, global and national concern about our uh, 
uh, natural resources, both the marine and terrestrial environment, uh, and to uh, really study the carrying capacity, uh, considering that we are working for sustainable development. The call of the president uh, just during the Monday's cabinet meeting to upgrade and improve our readiness for disasters cites the recommendations of the Department of Science and Technology for adoption by all government agencies. So it is really uh, a recognition by the President of the importance of this and uh, so he calls upon uh, all agencies to adopt the recommendations that DOST has submitted and approved by the Cabinet. The President also expressed concern about the nutrition status of children during the last cabinet uh, meeting when the Department of Social Welfare and Development presented the progress of their PPP program. And suddenly, the President asked <laughs> DepEd, may nakakain ba sila sa recess? Ganun ang kanyang tanong. And he apparently is concerned about what the children are eating, okay, and uh, taking in because of the very high uh, uh, degree of uh, stunting and uh, malnutrition. He even followed it up by a question that sparked a debate. Uh, uh, I did not participate in the debate anymore, but the question of the President, Bakit ang Pilipino mahina sa mat? Yun ang tanong niya. So, Secretary Leones tried to dispute that, okay? Saying that perhaps uh, uh, it is only a matter of uh, having the right approach to teach the children to relate it to their surroundings, to their, uh, uh, to, to their experiences, to understand better mathematics. Uh, but uh, apparently it has uh, been in the mind of the President that the Filipinos are poor in math and I think we should try to address that concern. Um, I wanted to tell him my grandson won gold in Malaysia for math. <laughs> Pero, siyempre naman, ay, uh, tumahimik na lang ako. I, uh, I commented that I came from the graduation of the UP College of Engineering where I was the uh, graduation uh, speaker and uh, related to everybody that uh, there has been a lot of improvement. I told them when we graduated in 1969 or exactly 50 years ago, uh, there were 240 of us who graduated in engineering in Diliman and out of that there were only three who graduated with honors. Okay? On top of that is the late uh, academician uh, Leonardo Leongson who was our magna cum laude in our batch. Uh, there were two other honor graduates uh, cum laude. But today, I, I said out of the 900 who are graduating, who, were, who, who graduated, there were more than 250 with Latin honors. So to me, uh, I hope that, that that will impress them. But then, one secretary, uh, well, sabihin ko si Secretary Dominguez raised an issue, bakit masyadong maraming honor graduates? Is that not unusual? Uh, <laughs> uh, the tone is, of course, uh, parang uh, raising some uh, doubt on uh, on uh, <laughs> on uh, how it is now to earn a Latin uh, honor, but uh, uh, I wanted to uh, add further that the selectivity in UP is so high that uh, it it really I think contributes to the very high uh, percentage of graduation and honors. Anyway, hindi na sumali sa mahabang uh, diskusyon. But uh, really, the, the president, in, in his, uh, shall we say, random statements, you know, are, it reflects that there are concerns or issues that science and technology can address. There is uh, also, of course, uh, uh, the uh, uh, concern that of all the sectors in the economy, the agricultural sector has been the lowest performing. And uh, in uh, the prison uh, uh, forum that was held last Monday, uh, I was part of the panel since we, the OST belongs to the Economic Development Cluster. And uh, well, the, the question I was asked to answer has something to do with energy. Okay, so I related our researches, particularly in developing, uh, uh, shall we say, uh, uh, 
products consuming energy that will consume less okay and i was uh, telling them about the hybrid train which uh, uh, uses uh, uh, both diesel and uh, electricity and results in 20 percent reduction in fuel uh, consumption i also mentioned to them that uh, maybe this coming january we will uh, uh, introduce to the public the renewable energy trimaran that is now being uh, uh, constructed in uh, Aklan uh, State University which uh, will uh, use uh, partly use wave, wave energy when it is already running again it will is expected to reduce energy consumption by about 20 percent so but the big question that was posed was uh, what are the milestones that we have that the government has for the next three years in the agriculture sector considering its very relatively low uh, productivity uh, among all the uh, sectors and it was secretary dominguez who gave an answer uh, saying that basically the first thing to address is how we can match the increase in population he said we are growing by around 1.7 percent a year and therefore our agriculture sector should produce or increase its productivity by at least two percent a year and uh, so i think that was a straightforward answer but uh, before that there was already an instruction from the president from the cabinet that the uh, three departments will organize what they call agricultural productivity summit and this was assigned to da of course uh, neda and to dost okay uh, i would say that uh, the first meeting of the three departments uh, was initiated by us by dost it was held in uh, picard okay and uh, uh, there will be subsequent meetings before a real summit i think which is planned for september uh, so we have to prepare for that now uh, moving on i would like to mention that the, the science and technology community is again challenged uh, with the enactment of the universal health care law because in the universal health care law it specifically states that the assessment of technologies in health will have to be done here at the DOST, okay? particularly, of course, to be attached to the Philippine uh, Council for Health Research and uh, Development. And uh, I think finally, I just would like to share with you that uh, in the area of uh, uh, space technology, uh, development and space uh, uh, technology utilization uh, we have been preparing for this and uh, uh, we hope that uh, I hope that before the SONA speech is done the law creating the Philippine Space Agency will already be signed because it has already been enrolled after passing the bicameral uh, uh, committee now uh, I have to uh, inform you that in the bicameral version or Actually, it is the Senate version, uh, the Philippine Space Agency will be placed under the office of the President. Okay? Uh, considering the number of uh, departments of, or agencies that are involved and will be users of the outputs of the Philippine Space Agency. It will have a council that will be chaired by no less than the President and the Vice Chair is the OST. Uh, so uh, that uh, I think puts uh, importance on our role. Uh, it will not only cover policy making, it will cover of course uh, uh, education, it will cover industry development, it will cover uh, uh, research and development and international collaboration. Uh, because it's very important to be part of the international community in space technology utilization. Uh, maybe I should mention that uh, in my desire to uh, inaugurate the uh, uh, ground receiving station for uh, remote sense data, what we call PEDRO, which is Philippine Earth Data uh, Resource and Data Center, um, to inaugurate it during the first half of the six-year period, okay, 
uh, actually we invited sana, we are organizing uh, the president to inaugurate it because the second one is in Dabao. The first one is in UP Diliman, the second one is in Dabao, the third one will be in uh, Iloilo, okay? I forgot the name of the town, uh, but uh, it will be near the airport. Now, uh, the, big, the, the Dabao ground receiving station is much bigger than the Quezon City receiving station. It has a seven and a half foot uh, uh, antenna, right? Uh, uh, that nung kulang nakita na yung palapag may dumada ang satellite on its own ay kumikilus siya, no? At tinatapatan niya kung nasaan yung dumada ang satellite. So we were there when uh, uh, satellite Aqua, which is a US satellite, was passing uh, at 2 p.m. over uh, Dabao uh, City. So we witnessed it, I mean, in the, in the, uh, that in the screen, uh, and uh, it started to receive and to uh, process the remotely sensed images for translation into useful data that will be passed on to the relevant uh, line agency because uh, it depends on what area it passes, okay? So kung dumaan siya sa uh, ka, ka mga forest, eh, ibabato namin yun sa DNR. Kung, kung dumaan siya sa karagatan, ay eh, ibabato siguro siya sa uh, most likely baka sa DNP. Ano? It's more of security. Okay? And uh, so, uh, in our desire to have it inaugurated during the first half, uh, we went there to inaugurate the ground receiving station of Dabao, even without VIP guests, uh, DOS tila nang inaugurate uh, on Sunday, June 30, because that's the end of the three year period. The first three years. So I say, at least masasabi natin that during the first three years na natapos natin yung dalawang uh, ground receiving stations, one in Diliman and one in uh, Dabao. So, yun po ang gusto kong i-relate uh, sa inyo. Pasensya na kayo at mahaba itong aking message. Before I end, allow me to congratulate NAS for the following. The regional, the successful regional scientific meetings. Uh, unfortunately, I was only able to attend the Coronadal uh, scientific uh, meeting which dealt on caring for the country's carrying capacity. The holding of the public lectures now by our uh, members of the National Academy of Science and Technology, uh, something that I suggested in one of the uh, uh, this meetings that we had, that uh, considering that there are only about 60 members of the Academy, even if uh, uh, one member will just lecture once every five years, we can still have a lecture once a month, okay? And uh, uh, so that has been done. I heard that there were already about 12 lectures that have been conducted. The uh, Production, although hindi ko pa nakikita, of the big uh, photographs of our national scientists that will be distributed to the regions and to the schools. Ha? Kailan makikita yun? As an STW pa daw. Sabi ko, yung ibibigay sa Philippine Science High School, eh, pakikwadro nyo na. <laughs> okay. Uh, the, uh, of course, the Sally Lahi New Exhibits is, uh, deserves congratulations. The support to the scientific career system because... Uh, Ning Ning, how many new scientists did we have starting January? Uh, the con these, these are the scientific career system. Oh, so we had three approvals already for, for scientists run. And uh, of course, the nomination of a new national scientist. Lastly, I hope the following will be completed soon. Uh, the roadmap for 2050, which I requested NAS to prepare. It's really a country road development roadmap uh, that will be based on uh, the, the science and technology, uh, shall we say, uh, forecast. You have started already. I also call on the expansion of NAS. However, we will be able to do it. Sabi may nagsabi sa akin, huwag nyo lang hintayin, madagdagan ng budget bago kayo mag-appoint ng mga bagong academicians and uh, scientists. Mag-appoint kayo, Kasi gano'n naman sa DBM, pag naka-appoint na, tsaka hihingi ka ng budget. No? Gano'n kami sa Philippine Science High School, mag appoint muna ng teacher. Pag na-appoint na, at tsaka hihingi ng budget. Eh dito, baka naman pwede mag-appoint na kayo ng mga dagdag na miyembro. Kasi parati ang naririnig ko constraint, ang budget natin is only good for so many members. And I think, uh, ang dami namang uh, 
pwedeng uh, uh, oh, oh, ma maidagdag sa ating uh, academy. Kasi nung pumunta sa Malaysia, they have 300 members and uh, we have only around uh, 60, 70. Uh, ang kaibahan lang, sa kanila, wala palang binibigay na any benefit. Kaya they can appoint as many as they want. And finally, uh, if we can already uh, produce a new version of the book on National Scientists because I found that book very interesting reading yung buhay ng mga National Scientists kaya lang, ano na gula-gulanit na uh, masyado ng luma at uh, uh, kailangan na sigurong mag-produce tayo ng marami uh, although of course ngayon ang uso ay eh, electronic version but still I think it is nice to own a book like that so I uh, would like to thank you for inviting me and uh, for showing me 